Once again, a member of council in Fort Francis has been cleared following an investigation by the town's integrity commissioner. It's the second report presented in three months, this time as part of an investigation into the town's mayor, who is alleged to have overstepped her authority as head of council. The commissioner also presented the full cost of the probe, along with a previous investigation of Councillor Douglas Judson. Adam Riley reports. The anonymous complaint alleged Mayor June Call had been acting as the town's chief administrative officer and by doing so contravened several sections of the Code of Conduct, the Municipal Act and relevant policies of the town of Fort Francis. The investigation by Paul Hain began in late August and focused on events and meetings following the retirement of CAO Doug Brown. Hain found some allegations were unsubstantiated but several others were not. Acting as the chief administrative officer. That accusation was substantiated and I just highlight two different times that Mayor Call had said I was asked by council to act in the CAO position along with administration. But despite that Haynes report concluded Call believed an acting CAO was different ergo her involvement with administration was obvious and knew legally she could not act as the CAO in any shape or form. In his recommendation Haynes says gone are the days of small town politics where councillors paid a visit to the town solicitor or meet one-on-one -on -one with senior staff about an issue. Going on to say, municipal councils are directors of multi-million dollar corporations and there is a growing culture to act like one. Most of the accusations submitted by the complainant are substantiated. But what is not documented is the miscreant actions of Mayor Call were done with no malice but with the best interests of the town in mind. With that, Haynes suggested Call refresh her memory on the role of the head of council and believes there were mitigating circumstances which led to her actions during the summer, to which he recommended no sanctions against the mayor. Call, being the subject of the investigation, was given the right to reply to the findings, to which she kept very short. I just want to thank Mr. Haynes for his his work on, the, on this, and uh, I appreciate his comments and his suggestions. And other than that, I have no comment. Council later voted in favor of accepting the report and its recommendations. It later discussed a bill for a previous integrity commissioner's report, which looked into a complaint against comments made by Councillor Douglas Judson. Legal fees for that investigation amounted to over $36,000. Council was presented with a motion to pay the bill, but some took issue with the wording of the motion. Just the last part and further approves any outstanding remaining expenses and fees for the remainder of the year. It just feels a bit like a blank check to me. Other members of council agreed with Brunetta and the motion was amended. Hain was also asked of what the cost for his investigation and report would be and it was revealed a further $7,000 would be billed to the municipality, leaving the town with more than $40,000 in legal fees of a budgeted $5,000 for 2021. Adam Riley, TBT News.